So you're thinking about upgrading to the latest Shield Experience 9.0, which gives you access to Android 11. And you're thinking about some of those common questions like, what if I want to use a custom launcher or if I'm already using a custom launcher, what happens to that? Can you still use a virtual mouse? What happens to your Plex library? And exactly what is broken or what properly works in this new update? So let me answer all of those questions right now. So the first thing that's broken in this new update is the ability to use a virtual mouse or a mouse toggle. Now, not all of you may be using this, but if you are somebody that likes to side load applications, maybe applications that weren't designed for Android TV, well, in those scenarios, a virtual mouse is really handy. Now, I've used a couple of virtual mice in the past. I've done a couple of videos on that. And as of today, since upgrading to the latest version of the Shield experience, none of them are working properly. I mean, if I try this latest one, let's turn that service on, click on OK. Let's go to configuration. We can see all of the permissions are granted now. But if I press the home key, and if I now try an application where I was previously using a virtual mouse, like the Aurora store, if I now bring up my virtual mouse by holding down the play button, that works okay. But if I actually try and click on something, uh, let's try uh, this thing over here. Click on that. We can see none of those clicks are being registered. If I try another application, click on this, and it's basically the same. So since the new Shield Experience 9.0, I'm not able to click on anything using that virtual mouse. But just as a side point, I have reached out to the developer who's been very responsive and he has given me a debug version, which does fix that issue. It does require some more testing, but if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. So let's back out of that. And the next question we have is, what happens to custom launches with this new version? Well, fortunately for this one, I can confirm that Launcher Manager, as well as any custom launcher, are all working fine with this latest update. If I start that now, let's click on Enable Custom Launcher. Give that a second. I can now press the home key and we can see that I'm straight into my custom launcher and that's working absolutely fine. I can see all of my applications. I can go to the top. I can click on pick a widget and that's working great. So custom launchers working absolutely fine with this latest update. The only thing I would recommend is make sure you do go back to your stock launcher, complete the update. Once that's done successfully and restarted, you can then enable the custom launcher again. I did see some comments where people had left the custom launcher running and after the update, they just saw a blank screen. Now, if that happens to you, you can still access your device by just using your voice. So you could use your voice and say, open settings. So even with the blank screen, the settings dialog would come up. You can then go into your applications, find launcher manager in the list, click on open, and then select the option to disable custom launcher. Once you've done that, you can let the update complete, restart your device, and you can once again enable your custom launcher. Okay, let's back out of that. The next thing that was broken on my device is the set orientation application. Now again, not everybody uses this, but if you are somebody that uses applications that were designed for cell phones or tablets, and when you start those applications, they typically look malformed because the picture has to be stretched for your TV. Or using the great set orientation application, you can force the application to either go into landscape or portrait, but in most cases it was landscape. Now, unfortunately with the latest update to the Shield experience, even when I set this to landscape, now if I try an application which was previously working fine, like this one here, so when I click on something, we can see it still shows it in portrait format. Let's try one more, uh, click on random one. Even though set orientation is set to landscape, I'm guessing with the increased permissions or the more secure permissions of Android 11, that's also broken the functionality of set orientation. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, in case you're wondering what actually has been added to this latest release, well, if I go to the settings at the top, go to preferences, display and sound, we can see we have a single complete master switch for HDMI CEC. So we can now disable that system-wide with one switch. Let's go back and up here we have the advanced sound settings and we can see we now have Dolby audio processing. So if I turn that on, so that means the system audio will now be encoded in Dolby Digital Plus. So great feature that they've now added in this new release. Let's go back and we can now see the new option match content audio resolution. So the things if you do turn this on 
and we can see exactly what happens to your device if you turn this on. Let's go back and also in the advanced sound settings we have the audio video sync so if you're somebody that's frustrated with lip sync issues then you can now adjust the audio and make sure it's properly in sync with the video. So this really is a very handy feature. And if any of you guys are still here with me then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag shield tv then i know you made it this far in the video which i always appreciate i'll then heart your comment we can also open up the developer options just to confirm there's bluetooth codecs click on that and we can see there's new aptx codecs that have been added let's go back the next one in remotes and accessories i think will be a, a welcome feature which is the ability to disconnect your bluetooth accessories as soon as your device goes to sleep so if i turn this on this means that my remote control my game controller anything i've paired with bluetooth to the device will automatically disconnect as soon as my shield goes to sleep so lots of you were asking for this feature so it's great that nvidia have added this in this update now if you want to get a custom launcher onto your new nvidia shield with this latest update just head over to your settings go over to about click on that where it says build number, keep pressing the select button here seven times and eventually it will say you're a developer. Once you've confirmed that, you can now press back on the remote, go down into developer options, click on that, scroll down and where it says network debugging, you want to turn that option on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key, let's now open up downloader we can type a single code which will take you to the updated page which will always have the latest version of Launcher Manager as well as the Wolf Launcher and that number is just 82760. So let's type that in, so 82760 and click on go. And from this tutorial page you just need to download two things. The Launcher Manager which allows you to disable your stock launcher and select a custom launcher and whichever custom launcher you want to use. So if I scroll down, we can see here is the Launcher Manager for Shield TV. So click and install that first. Once you've done that, you now need to choose whichever custom launcher you want to use on your device. Now in my example, I'm going to use the Wolf Launcher. Let's click on Done and download the latest version of the Wolf Launcher. Once you've downloaded and installed that, you can now press the Home key. And let's now start Launcher Manager for the first time. Let's click on that. Click on Open. I can now select the option to enable the custom launcher, click on that, give that a second, I can now press the home key and we are now inside our custom launcher. So overall guys, good update from Nvidia, we finally have Android 11 on our devices plus some of those other audio enhancements, those audio tuning options and the fact that we can still use custom launchers really means that we can get the best of both worlds. So I do hope you find this video useful. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if, if you've already got the update or if you're going to hold out and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.